Hi folks, it's Nick here, and today we're looking at a game that I've been meaning to review for quite some time now. It's Boulder Dash 2 on the Commodore Amiga. Now I'm going to have to be a bit kinder to this game than I, I thought, because it wasn't a commercial release, I don't think. Um, beforehand I thought it was, but it's public domain game, published in 1993 by some chap called Laser. Now the idea of this really, if you're unfamiliar with Boulder Dash, is to collect uh, lots of diamonds about being crushed by boulders. So it's an unofficial sequel to the original Boulder Dash, which I'm not sure come out on the Commodore Amiga, but I'm sure it did. Uh, other similar games to this are Emerald Mines, I presume. It is, yes. So, yep, I'll try and set myself up here. We select a name, and here we go. Right. Sound is a bit limited. I don't know if this has been done on Amos coding system. But the time's ticking down. I'm being wished good luck by laser, so thank you, sir. Right, sound effects have kicked in, these boulders falling down. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, Boulder Dash the game, whenever you cut a path below one of these boulders, they will fall down. If you get crushed by them, you're dead. And you must collect all the diamonds in this whole maze, or at least a certain number, to get to the next stage. So here we go, we're going to have to move a bit sharpish here. Boom! So there's some diamonds, let's click those. Looks like there's two different types, yellow and gold. Now these butterflies, I don't remember those in the original Boulder Dash, which I played on the ZX Spectrum. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. Generally speaking, in the other one, if you crush down the enemies with the boulders, they would instantly die. But those butterflies are well coded. There's a lot of them. Well done, laser. Right. Here we go. I don't need... Oops, I'm dead. That isn't good. So the butterflies can kill you. Make a note of that. Oh, you only get one life, do you? That's a shame. Boulder Dash, generally you had uh, different levels. There's a handicap system you can do. Games played one, games one, no, none. Right, go lad, go. I wonder if this bloke's called Roxford as well. This game could be strangely addictive, but with one person working on it on their own, the graphics are quite good. 1993, I said I'd be kind on it, but I don't know where Laser is now, and this is over. 20 odd years ago, he may have moved on to better things. If you are Laser, comment below. Or if you know of Laser, what other games did he do? Was it just this one? Good old Commodore Amiga. Had a lot of different games on it. Whoa. Right, here we go. Right, I don't know how to kill these butterfly things. These diamonds look like the easiest to get each time. Will I get to stage 2? Well, maybe not. The map seems a lot bigger than the ZX Spectrum version. The characters are a lot smaller. Maybe the same size as uh, Lemmings, I think. That game, Lemmings. Right, the butterflies are released. Let's keep away from them. Right. Can you crush them with a boulder? We might be able to cut a, a row here. When you uh, crush one of the enemy, they do turn into an extra diamond to collect. So look down along the bottom. Time's ticking down. 264. We got to get another 74 diamonds. Oh god, where are they? They're these butterflies. Oops, there we go. So I'm not sure if I crushed one of them there, but they turned into a diamond when they fell through that path. That one didn't fall through. Why is that? Because it's not directly on the conveyor belt thing. Yep, there we go. So that's what we need to do. Cool, this is going to take ages, and there's a red alien y thing. So we need to get all the boulders through that slip without... Oh, what's that red thing? Get out of the way, red thing. Ow! Oh, curses and damn. Curses and damn again. Beep, 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 beep. We'll have another go, shall we? Yes. Don't want to leave it here. Is there a cricket about the place? Has it frozen? No. Right, here we go. What were you doing in 1993? Anything good? I think I was in college, for all the good that did. I did a course on construction, come out fully qualified, and the construction industry was dead as a pancake, so I went into something else. Hooray! Small things that change your life. I wish I'd gone into gaming reviewing. Still a chance, I presume. I'm still alive, so it could happen. Maybe. But I'd need a break. I'd need someone to offer me a super job, I think. Will it happen? Hmm, unknown. I've got a better chance of being crushed by a boulder, I think. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. This sound effect, I feel like I'm under fire. Cool, that was close. A bit like that bit in Indiana Jones where he gets chased by a boulder, but this time there's a lot of them. 
Bim bim. Uh, yeah, so graphically for one person working on their own, it's not too bad. It animates okay, the frames that there are there. If it had been a commercial release, I probably would have slated it, um, unless it come out for a pound. But the public domain was a very active industry. I'm sure people, a lot of people got jobs through that. You could send off the discs uh, on magazines. There's demos and games and utilities. It was vibrant. It was really vibrant back then. Sort of like around now, but not so much. They do get a lot of stick, these individual developers, working on their own. A bit too much, really. Which is a shame. I think they should be encouraged. Mobile apps has encouraged a few of them to start developing stuff. But that's getting a bit of a close shop as well. Did Boulder Dash come out on the Android or the iPhone? Let me know if it did. I suppose I could search it, but it's more fun you telling me. What is that sound? There are some cri- oh, it's the butterfly sound. Right, we we uh, we cut a hole beneath this and we can launch them all at those deadly insects. Now the guardians are- the oh, that's not falling through. I thought that's going to fall through then. Why is it not falling through on this one and fell through on the other one? Maybe you have to do them in order or stack them up. Yeah, that's no good. Hmm. No, they're not going through. Maybe this is a false dawn. Right, there's that red spin. We don't want to release that. That's dangerous. Keep that where it is. I don't know what this is we're going through. Some sort of hedgerow. Timber! Right. There's certainly a lot of boulders, though. We don't want to get crushed at the critical point. Right, we can just whiz across here. They're all fall down. Please go through the ledge and kill the butterflies. Or get some diamonds. Let's have a look. Damn! Why hasn't that gone through? Right, I think we're flogging a dead horse here. Let's try this other one. This looks better. That's not going through either. If Dr. Evil was here, he'd say, throw me a freaking bone. That worked last time. Why does it not work in this time? Uh, yeah. There may be trouble ahead. Du, 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 du. Right, those butterflies are free. Right, might release the red thing. We could crush the red thing, couldn't we? Crush! Yeah! Oh, a key! What does that do? That's new. I got an, I got a feeling that that's important. That key. What does that unlock? Um, is there a door around here somewhere? He can push things as well. This guy. I haven't been doing too much of it yet. Perhaps maybe we have to do that. There we go. Can't push it if there's more than one in front though. It's a fun thing you bear in mind. Oh, look, there's a yellow square there. Is that like a gateway? Let's go the safe way. We might be able to unlock that. Yeah? Is this going to be the end of the... Oh, we're through! Okay. That doesn't seem to have done us too much good. That's just a secret way for four extra... Crystals or whatever. This is going to take ages. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, yeah. Maybe if I push that boulder onto a butterfly, that might help. Yeah, that was suicide. <laughs> I've turned into a billion crystals. Well, yeah, I don't think we'll have another go at this, but interesting as it was, it's a good effort. That was Boulder Dash 2 on the Commodore Amiga. I believe a public domain game. If it isn't, let me know. But published in 1993 by uh, Laser. Excellent. Please remember to comment below if you've got something good to say, or in general. And to next time, take good care of yourself and a very warm goodbye. Goodbye.